Hey, hello, how are you all today? Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time to watch. I hope this resonates with you. Um, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time you're here. The all-seeing eye. I feel the need for a little clarity today. The energy is kind of off the charts. Um, I know it wasn't just me. Um, I know other people have had trouble sleeping, either going to sleep, staying asleep, um, weird dreams. Um, some of them just busy dreams, nothing to really pay attention to. In my case, it was just stupid busy dreams. But um, uh, I know that's not the case for everyone. And um, there's just a lot going on. It's this breathlessness, almost like right before you have an asthma attack or a panic attack or I don't know, there's something, but it doesn't feel bad. It just feels energized, energized, activated action. Someone asked me um, if I could distill this down into one word, this, this huge influx of energy and this powerhouse of energy flow we're in right now. It's, I feel breathless, but I feel activated. It's time. I just keep wanting to say, it's time. It's time. It's time. Do it. We got to do it. We got to do it this now. And I don't know what it is, who this is for, what my part is in it, but we are, we are, we are coming into an action phase. Okay. All that beginning of the year, seeing, you know, when the seed was planted, when it started to come into fruition and and it's, this is the action phase and I can feel it. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what, let's see what, uh, messages we can get. Now, everyone, this is a general reading. Please understand that it cannot resonate with everyone. And if you're here to nitpick and pull things apart and try to get a gotcha, I really, that's, that's all you, honey. That's all you. I don't need any gotchas I, at my age. I do what you need to do. You got it. Um, just be, try to be happy, okay? So that's the last I will say about that. Nothing big, but uh, I'm just kind of sick of the, hey, what about that? Gotcha. No, you don't. Really. Come on, y'all. Um, so I <laughs> just don't care. Um, so I care about the collective, and I care about all the wonderful people out there. And I know some of you are going through some difficult times, and I know a couple of people who are going through some really scary, difficult times with their health. So let's all come together in a positive way, and I'm going to do that right now in a very positive way. Apologize for my little rant because it didn't do any good. Um, and it's um, let's come together and ask for healing for all those who need healing of mind, body, or spirit. Call for divinity to step in and heal all those who need direction. That's a big one. Need direction, need help, need focus, need clarity, just need sleep, uh, need to heal, need to know that they are actually okay. Someone is physically con is concerned about a physical condition, but they don't need to be. Everything is okay. Uh, some need to go to the doctor and get the blood work and get checked out just to confirm all of that. Um, but there, I do know of, of two specific people with some significant health challenges and, and sending them the best and the highest. Okay, so uh, my name is Holly. I'm Psychic Medium. How you doing? I like cards and I use cards in general readings like this because it's a good jumping off point because I'm not tapping into any individual energy, but there's just this collective energy of anyone who watches now or in the future. So, um, and right now it's kind of late April. So um, I'm going to, I started with the higher self Oracle and I did some, some, uh, prayers centering a little bit of a mini kind of meditation kind of thing. And I pulled some cards to start just to, to, to get the general collective energy right now that everyone's facing. And what I got divine timing manifest happiness the light sometimes feels like you got to break through a wall to get there like in that one um listen and then help is on the way and that is a stunning 
absolutely stunningly beautiful card. So, divine timing, manifest, happiness, the light, listen, help is on the way. I, that almost feels like a message all in itself, just when you line it all up together. Um, what I'm getting is that, yes, we are moving into an action phase, but you are not doing this alone. Whatever this is, whatever's coming, whatever's getting ready to happen, um, big changes coming through for most people. And it could be for you, if, if for some of you, and I know some of you are like, I don't want big changes. I'm happy where I am. And that's fine. That's good. You don't have to change. But if you're in an activated mode, this is the time to do it. If you're completely happy with your life and where you are, you don't have to do a thing. Just understand that there may be a lot of change swirling around you in other people's lives. And maybe you're the one that needs to, to be the constant who will hold space for them and, and be that constant rock, you know? So that could very well be your, your you know, situation. But I think for the majority of the people, there's this sense of, one, there is divine timing at play. And I always hated hearing that because I'm so impatient. But it is real and it's true. But when that when all the when all the cogs line up, that's when the wheel starts to roll. And we gotta be ready to roll with it. Okay, but we gotta wait for them to line up. Otherwise, it's out of step and it's that much harder. Okay. So I'm gonna just kind of leave that where it is because I don't think I have to say a whole lot more about that. Um, it's pretty much things will happen when they need to happen and they are about to happen. Follow your gut instinct. Follow your gut knowing. Okay? And again, it's a general reading. You have free will. Whatever that means for you, you know your own life. Ooh. Okay. Now, let's go to our animal friends, our animal allies. All right. Which animal allies want to walk with us today as we navigate these waters of change? Which animal ally wants to be with us today as we navigate these significant changes that are coming? One more? Okay. I always ask. I always call on spirit. I am a mouthpiece for spirit. I am a conduit for spirit. Um, I think one of the worst mistakes we can make is think that we're the one carrying the, the, I mean, we have a lot of power given to us to, to affect things and we have a spark of the divine, but in terms of messages and connections and things like that, uh, even healing work, we are a vessel in which it moves through, um, innately without that spark, without that, um, gift of, of words and energy and healing and whatever happens through spirit, we would just be a meat sack, you know? So I felt like that was important to say. All right. What are the messages or who are the, who are the animal allies that wish to walk with us today in spirit or what? No, what, um, what are the animal allies with a message? Okay. Well, my word. Hmm. Okay. And this is a big one. Big animal. Moose. <laughs> you don't see that every day, at least not around here. Uh, moose. Wisdom. Let your head and mind reach the stars. You keep your feet grounded on the earth. Uh, listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. The ancestors speak through you. And what was I just saying? That we are a channel and a conduit um, for ancestor spirit, ancient wisdom. Okay, I opened it up to this one, goose, inner knowing. Uh, don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Okay, so what... Oh. Did I show you guys the moose card? Well, I've already shuffled it. Um, 
as soon as I saw this card, <clears throat> excuse me, I saw action, I saw flight, and it's let yourself, let yourself soar, take off into flight. And that's basically what that says. Let yourself fly. There is a lot of fear with change. Please understand that you are surrounded, but please understand you also have free will. And so you need to ask for intervention and help for direction, for guidance, just to feel bolstered and confident to make the changes that need to happen. I feel like there's an electrical current running over me, almost like a, it's not a chill, but it's, 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 I truly, uh, it's almost, it's, it's, it's just a, an incredible and hard feeling to explain. Change is coming. All right. Uh, for some areas of the world, not necessarily this country, I don't think, but for the world, there may be some storms like physical, literal weather uh, issues happening. So if you're in an area where you have storm warnings, um, just pay attention to that because I feel like the weather is getting ready to reflect some of our uh, emotional well, uh, uh, the the weather may begin to reflect some of the emotions that are getting churned up with this sense of change. Um, and in some areas, it could mean, um, and I'm seeing near big, large bodies of water. Um, so be, be prepared maybe for more storms this year or something, something to that effect. Well, anyway, okay. Um, let's use another deck that is an animal ally deck. And this one is the spirit. Okay. Now, uh, come on y'all. I'm just all over the place here. That was just a chunk that fell. This is the spirit animal pocket. It just says spirit animal. Okay. And on the bottom, horse spirit, freedom is yours. Oh, I love horses so much. Not that I have any or would know what to do with them. <laughs> but they're just magnificent. Oh, bee spirit. Bee has been popping up a ton lately. A ton. Sweet results await. Thank you. Yeah. Claim that right now. All right. Turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Oh, turkeys are underrated animals or birds. Groundhog spirit. Time to let go of what does not serve you and make room for the good. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. Yes, it is. And pig spirit with its cute little wings. Um, use your mind wisely. Actually, what I see when I see that card with the, um, okay, there's only, <laughs> Groundhog, let, let things go, that's clear. Nightingale, they can fly. The, the geese, they can fly. Now, turkey, a pig with wings, and a bee, a bump, like, like a, bumblebee type it's, it looks like a honeybee but you know bumblebees too so you know whatever um point is all three of these we know pigs can't fly and the phrase when pigs fly is exactly that but yet there are all these images of pigs with wings and i just think it's adorable the bumblebee shouldn't be able to fly aerodynamically just because the, of the 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 size and shape of the body as opposed to the wing span and turkeys they're birds with massive feathers and beautiful wings and they can fly a little like they can pedal jump they can they can like fly over a little creek type thing very low but you're not going to see them up in the sky and people think you know but they can actually they can actually it's almost like um when when you see a turkey trying to take take off, um, it's it's more like um, an elevated jump, but you know, <laughs> a 
a bird with huge wings that can't fly. So not really, not up with the, you know, other birds. But anyway, so. But then the nightingale and the, well, and the grand, groundhog goes underground. So. And then we had the message about with the moose, with the bit like above and below and being grounded, but keeping your head in the stars. All of those chakra systems, the, the crown and the, the root, a lot of people ignore the lower ones because they think, oh, well, that's about security or safety or it's grounding you. That means it's cutting off your connection. And it really isn't. If you are so ungrounded and all you do is focus on your crown chakra, that you just feel like a hot air balloon flying off all the time. We've all met people that are very intuitive, but so flighty. They don't know how to tie their own shoes and put on the same two shoes. And maybe that's not important for them. But, you know, when you got to pay bills, you got to pay your bills on time or you lose stuff and you have no place to live. So you got to have both in balance. If you don't have a sense of safety and rootedness, like for me, I wouldn't be able to do the death walking work because it's, it would, it, you know, I wouldn't be grounded and safe. I'd just be floating around and, you know, feeling vulnerable. I think that's it with this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Gosh, I know I, I need to shut up a minute and listen. And when they're trying to tell me something, I didn't realize there was a message coming in from spirit about this to make sense. Um, when there's this much change, like crackling electrical energy in the air and it's moving and it's happening right now, when there's this much that it's hard for our bodies to physically keep up with the energy changes, um, and I think that's when illness, fatigue, uh, lack of sleep, all that stuff comes into play, um, it's important to ground, self-care, um, if you can, if you, you know, if you can take a bath, great, drink some calming tea or do something for you, sit in nature, do whatever you need to do to, to ground. Um, when it's hard for your body to keep up, that's when it's very important to stay grounded because your spirit in is up here just whirling in a circle and we've got to stay grounded so we know what to do with all of that incredible energy coming in. The manifestation is going to happen very, very quickly. Things that we've been thinking about since January, those seeds that we planted in January, they're sprouting now. Get ready. All right, the pulp tarot. This is where we're going next. This is where I was called to to go next. I wanted to do my unfolding path in the siren song and that may still happen, but I don't know. This was, this is the one that said, you know, this was the deck I was supposed to use. So the pulp tarot. And what is the message? Mother, Father, God, spirit guides, guardians, our beloved elementals. What is the message? Oh, gosh. Oof. I just felt it come up my back um, when in doubt if you're not sure call on your protection team I call on my protection teams thank you okay okay all right so that's enough and thank you Thank you. My personal teams have stepped in and um, my back felt vulnerable. So they're stepping in. Anytime you feel uh, any kind of compromised anything or you feel like you might be a little vulnerable, just call on your protection teams to step in. And when in doubt, Archangel Mikael or Michael will absolutely be there. Okay, thank you. All right, what is the message for the collective? What is the message for the collective? Please provide the cards to help and the words to help me understand what it is I need to say. Oh, wow, that just got two went 
flying almost in my coffee cup. Anything else? No, those were just, they're all face down, so I don't know what they are. That was just like, no. All right, so interesting that two cards came flying out. Yesterday we had sets of two and two and two and two. There were lots of twos, and the date had a lot of twos in it. Okay, these are good. You have the Ace of Wands, okay, and the Chariot. I was dreaming about a dog last night. Um, all right. Well, one way to read this, because I just asked Spirit to help me, one way to read this, passion is coming in quickly. So, depending on what you were looking for, there's either going to be Yeah, you've got a very passionate situation getting ready to come in. That's for some of you. There's another way to, another way to read this. I also just heard radical self-care. So you're getting ready to go very quickly toward a fiery, passionate start toward stating what it is you need, want, and from the universe, not anyone else, from the universe to help you take care of yourself. What else? I know there's a third message in here. There are three ways to read this right now. What's the third? Thank you, Spirit. I don't mean to sound so demanding. Um, All good things are coming to you. You just have to be a little more patient. It's happening and it's on the way. It's on the way. Information is coming in that's going to help you, but not just information like a... It's like an emotional... It's an emotional awareness. There's going to be... An emotional connection to help you understand a situation better, and it's going to have to. It, it will. It will have. It, it is going to have to do with uh, an emotional foundation. Okay, we need clarification on that. Can I get clarification, please? One more out of this deck. Okay clarification about this for that last message because that one was not t terribly clear what is the clarification for the last message the emotional message coming through well how, how do you like that the star head in the stars feet firmly planted and rooted that message keeps coming up and also I'm hearing no wish is too big. So it's something you've been thinking about that is going to come into fruition. I'm just going to let spirit give me the answers you've been seeking are coming in and it's going to answer questions about matters of the heart. For some, for some, it will be health issues, but predominantly matters of the heart. For others, they're going to get the answer to a health question. And third, no, no. Um, they said no. They just want me to focus on these two. A plan of action will be drawn up based on the health issues, whether it's change in diet, a treatment plan, uh, supplements that you need to take, whatever it is. All good there. You're going to have a tr you're going to have a, a plan of action. With the matters of the heart, there are not going to be any questions any longer. You're just 
it's going to be made abundantly clear. It's going to be made extremely clear what's going on. They're saying, no, don't. Is there anything else? I just keep hearing you're coming into a place of knowing. You're coming into a place of knowing and understanding. And with that comes a sense of peace. A sense of peace. Okay. I'm going to leave those three out because I feel like this is going to come up again. Let's go to, let's go to our sirens song. The Siren Song, it's a uh, combination of both the Kipper and the Le Normand cards, okay? And this one has a C theme, which I think is gorgeous. Mother and Father God, they want me immediately to take these. That Just one quick shuffle and they said take that. Jumped out for a reason. All of these? Yes. Okay. Okay. And the reason why I felt like I needed to call in a protection team was part of this message. Um, and these two. They wanted me to do this. And these two. Wow. Okay, and they're saying that's it. Put that there. All right. But these are on the side. All right. So, we have... Mediator, gift, change, no kidding, snake. And this is not snake as in the spirit carrier from yesterday. Uh, this is snake as in, you know, red flag warning going up child and then the ones that came out on the side these two came out one was on the top of the deck one was on the bottom of the deck and i got the message to get both heart and marriage and then two that just they also wanted me to pull that were just there that kind of were like sliding out toward me um book and deep thoughts and it's a specifically uh, a male energy or a dominant energy, but laid back ruminating with deep thoughts, which is important. Okay. Someone's getting legal advice or someone's seeking counsel from someone else. And I'm just going to let spirit take over. I don't want to read the cards at face value. Um, I want to actually... Um, get messages that okay. someone is getting advice and it's not bad it's not like preparing for a lawsuit or anything like that. It's not like that. This is someone is getting advice and it could be legal advice or it could just be trying to find out what to do, how to handle a certain situation. Um, I feel like it does involve the gift card. It does involve finances in some way. And change is coming. Absolutely change is coming. The snake. The snake is the reason why they're trying to get advice about what to do about whatever situation they're in. So it's almost like 
the advice and the counsel that you're receiving is a preemptive move because you know someone's going to try to bite you. If you can have an answer before it comes to you, that's your best move. So don't just blindly walk into something and say, oh, it'll all work out for the best when you know you got a viper sitting on your back doorstep. You're not going to go out the back door and just say, move over, please, viper that is reared and wants to sink your fangs into me. No, you're going to have a plan of action. So, and sometimes a child, the child card right behind the snake means that it's, uh, it can mean a bunch of things, but in this particular deck, the way I'm getting it is that it's not a literal, it could be a literal child, but it's, I don't think it's a literal child in this instance, but it could be um, that this is short lived and there will be a sense of wonderment and fresh and new afterwards. But I tend to think, and what I'm getting, because this is flaring, and yeah, this is, this is, okay. So I think where I'm going is what it actually, for the dominant energy means. Whatever is going on with this energy, whatever, uh, vibe, you know, viperous trap you're, you're about to fall into <clears throat> that's causing you to, to want to get some kind of information or help, and it has to do with change. Um, it's not well thought out. It's not like it's a concentrated venom. It's one of those things with a dog where it's, its bark is worse than its bite. There really is no, there's a saying, it's like there's no bottom to it. It doesn't have any weight to it. It's just all top heavy and blah, 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 and would fall over as soon as you tap it, like, quick little tap on the shoulder, boom, it falls over. So there's no weight to it. So I think the child in this instance, and this is, and I'm getting, yeah, that's it. So be prepared just in case, but understand that this adversary, foe, negative energy that's swirling around, it's it doesn't have any real significance because it doesn't have any power over anything. It'd be like if a child wanted to pick a fight with an adult. It's like, you know, and, I, and I'm thinking like a really young child. So it's like, no, no. This is one of those instances where you get all your ducks in a row, you know what you're doing, but when it comes right down to it, it's like, because I said so, child, get over there. Do what you're supposed to do. Clean up your room. No, you can't go to that party. No, you can't walk down the street by yourself at midnight. Because I said so. After you've explained it 500 times and they refuse to listen, because I said so is okay. And, but you're going to get your back up in order about why you're saying so. This is sort of standing up for yourself too. With the other cards just kind of on the side, it almost feels like an entirely different phase or situation or um, someone is looking at, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know why, um, but I'm getting uh, something to do with someone's religious beliefs and religion with uh, deep thoughts and book. Someone is searching out um, religious significance of something. So for whatever that is, and it came under heart and marriage. So I don't know. Something about the religious significance of something. So that's just, that's all that means. I don't even know if it's really entirely related to this first story with the mediator, gift, change, snake, and child. So, all right, that's that's an interesting one. 
Um, but I do know, oh gosh, as soon as I got back to these cards, the wand or the ace of wands, the chariot and the star, as soon as I got back to those cards, whoosh, the electrical current just went straight up to my top of my head again, started on my arms and back and went straight up. So this is the primary one. Whatever you need to know is getting ready to come through for you. Okay, man, uh, I am so late already on this, but I don't care. We're going to round out. This is just a long one today, y'all. We're going to round this out with a Crystal Connections by Adam Barillet, um message from the gem and crystal world. What is a stone crystal that would be positive for with a message for us for the collective for for the collective but also potentially if you have it to keep around you or to meditate with today and if you're not you don't and if not you don't have to go out and buy anything just hold an image of it in your mind i'll hold the card up so you can see it just hold an image of it up and understand that that is for something for you to think about and that energy to come to you i mean it's all energy all right now all right what is the earth element or stone element message for today for the collective to connect to to help in this process from the previous messages what is the earth element Well, for some of you, it's still the one from yesterday, Rutilated Quartz, because this one did not. When that's polished and they're not jutting out, it's actually, um, and this one's a gold rutile. Um, it's a quartz with, as the host, with gold threads. It looks like gold threads running through it. Um, okay. All right. I think we have, all right. All right, and that one. I'm going to pull a bunch so that you'll have options because these are going to, one or the other will resonate. Anything else? Okay, no. All right. Now, you know what? I'm going to take this one because this was on the top of the deck after I'd been shuffling around a little and it kept popping up. So I'm going to take that one too. All right, so... I release any need for struggle or suffering, and that is blue calcite. There we go. I'm going to get super close. Blue calcite. If you don't have any, focus or meditate holding that image in your mind. Jade has been coming up continually. There is so much goodness in the world. I gladly share it with everyone. And it is also one of the hardest stones. It's hard to carve. Um, which makes it amazing. There's so many carvings in Jade and it comes in all sorts of colors. Ametrine. I love this one. Com a natural combination of amethyst and citrine. They're both quartz, they're both in the, quartz, in the quartz family. And I think Bolivia is the only place where you can find ametrine. Find ametrine. Thank you. All right. Cinnabar. Cinnabar has, it's, you'll see just totally red cinnabar, but then you will also see it in its matrix. It's actually the color of those flowers in the bottom. Um, I weave my magic and create my perfect life. That's cinnabar. And then uh, I didn't read Amatrine's um, affirmation. I live a life of balance and harmony. So that was for Amatrine. All right. The one that kept popping up over and over again is celestite. And celestite is beautiful i allow the beauty of my heart and soul to shine okay so those are the <clears throat> messages for different elements in the collective today whichever one resonates with you if you have one of those stones great if you don't hold the image in your mind 
and ask the energy, the, the messages of that or the, the, the energy surrounding that stone. Stones very often feel just very protective to me. All right. I think that's about it for today because it's now 40 minutes in. All right. Um, I'm also hearing garnet and garnet can rough garnet can almost look you have to hold up to the light to see any it looks almost like a super dark almost black there's and then there's orange and that's spessor type there's a bunch of different types of garnet if anyone is going through a broken heart or needs heart healing reach for a, a garnet and it doesn't have to be gem quality it could just be a rough a rough piece and sometimes those are in, even more powerful uh, because they haven't been so heavily worked. Um, but if you've got garnet, fantastic. Um, if not, folk, look at a picture of it, find a picture of it online, wherever, and focus on that and meditate. Someone needs this because I'm feeling it in my chest. I'm feeling it in my heart. And I'm um, someone needs to, to resonate and reach out to the, it resonates that someone needs to reach out to the energy of garnet and the energy surrounding that. You've got to, one of the things, they are gifts from the earth. They are gifts from the divine because everything is created. This earth is created. Everything about it is created um, with a connection and an energy. So, we're just using the gifts that we've been given. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. I know I'm still puffy and yeah. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you from just thank you. All right. Be well. I think I'll put my glasses back on. I'm, I look really all right anyway be well sending love to you all thank you bye uh oh my clicker's not working hello again mail bye